Okay guys, so football season is back. A new English Premier League campaign is underway and the Kestrel EPL Roadshow is hitting the road once again beginning 13th of August covering various locations in Johor, Klang Valley as well as Penang. Now, if any of you guys have recently purchased Kestrel lubricants from participating outlets, you can go to these roadshows Take part in a penalty contest and you stand a chance to win Castrol merchandises that I'm listing here in the screen now. And also remember, during this period, if you purchase Castrol lubricants, you stand a chance to win an all expenses paid trip for two to the UK to watch an English Premier League game live at the stadium not in front of a TV not at a bar but in the stadium itself so your next oil change could very well win you the experience of a lifetime good luck and if you win remember to join me okay we are getting drifting lessons from Iwan Kong So reflecting back on the weekend's experience, now onto my tires, I had fully expected to for this session to wear out my tires. And uh, what I did was in preparation, I arranged for a set of new Continental MC6 tires to go into the car after the drift session. Uh, and also I also got got myself a set of used Pirelli Cinturatos that was sourced from a friend who recently purchased a 118i from Sime Darby Auto Selection. They put in the Cinturatos. This guy bought the car. After about a couple of thousand kilometers, he decided to upgrade his tires to Michelin PS4s. And uh, yeah, and I bought these set of tire, used tires of him. So what happened was, started the day in my RE004s. After two or three rounds, we found that the re 4 simply had too much grip uh, to kick the tail out. So midway through the session, I just went off. And uh, and swapped in the Cinturato straight away. So with, with the Cintur with the less grippy Cinturatos, then drifting this car was uh, was a much easier process. But what happened was that it left me, right, with a set of barely used RE 004s now. Okay, guys. So now I am at Waho Tire Services in. Taman, uh, Taman Mayang, the day after the drifting class and uh, so just to show you <laughs> this is my left rear tyre so this one as you can see it gave way all right you already come down to the Benang already so when it reached this stage uh, well basically I called an end to the action and uh, inch the car home slowly 80 kilometers per hour the front tyres actually still looks in decent shape okay a bit worn uh, but I, I wouldn't use them anymore so these are uh, these four used tires they've served their purpose and uh, it's time for them to go the bridge stones well uh, were barely used they were hardly used at all so uh, these tires are still good as new I think clock less than two or three thousand kilometers uh, but now what we are doing here is that uh, we are getting a new set of tyres in, a brand new uh, MC6 tyres. So actually I have timed the change of the tyres to coincide with the end of the drifting class. Alright, so I, 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 my initial idea really was to go in with the RE004s. Alright, but after a couple of rounds, right, it was obvious that this car does not have enough power to overcome the traction of the RE004s. So, that's why I swapped in the Cinturatos and uh, now these tires are relatively unused right so uh, yeah so now I've got a spare set of Bridgestone of barely used Bridgestone RE004s which uh, probably I'm gonna let go because I don't have the space to keep them 
all right and uh, later on I will, uh, in a future video you guys will be able to see how my how the car is now performing with the uh, Continental MC6 tires okay so I've, there's something that the tire shop just informed me so now you see uh, this was not available the last time I had the MC6 in my car right so you see there's this barcode here this is not a sticker guys this is printed on the tire now what's this function of the barcode is that so that this this tire comes with a warranty all right a one-year warranty that not only protects your tire from uh, from defects manufacturing defects but i'm told that in the next one year if i bank pothole all right if i bank pothole whatever not they will replace this tire one for one i'm not sure if they will replace one for one if i donut or not that one i'm not sure but i wonder hmm all right so new tires are in Oh, and just want to highlight, uh, well, one nice practice display. Earlier on, uh, after they uh, after they installed the tires, they actually brought the rims here uh, to this area just to give it a, a, a nice wash before installing the uh, the tire onto the car. So a lot of tire shops they they just install back a dirty wheel, and it's nice to you know for one for once come to a tire shop and in, and have a clean tire, a clean wheel installed back to the car so later when uh, when i head back to evo club car wash at least all the crew has to do is just to wash the uh, body of the car initial impressions of this new uh, mc6 tires now having been used now uh, accustomed to the ie 004's performance um i would say that the mc6 immediately feels quieter all right now the ie 004 is a is a performance tire it's a sports tire all right, so I, I I bought them. All right, with uh, with grip prim with prim primarily for grip in mind. Um, I was okay with the noise levels of the IE 004s, but that being said, coming to the MC6, the sudden drop in noise levels is the immediate impression that I get. Is it's uh, it's really night and day. The difference really is night and day. Uh, it also feel the comfort levels also feels better than the IE 004s. All right, um, I need to evaluate its performance. You know, its uh, its performance at a, at a later time. Maybe this weekend. Maybe one in one of the weekend morning drives. I'll record my run and I'll share it with you guys. So, but right now the overall uh, impressions of this new set of IE uh, of this new set of Continental MC sixes, very very positive. Good quiet my previous experience with the mc6 have been that these are a set these are great all-round tires but in my previous experience i don't remember them being this quiet so maybe continental implemented some uh some running improvements to either the pattern or the formula on the construction of the tires but they feel remarkably quiet and one of course big improvement is that the uh is that now you have that one year tire warranty program whereby within one year if you hit a pothole or whatever they will change you one for one all right the brand new tire so that is that is something to consider and uh yeah basically you are paying for a new when you buy one of these you pay for a tire all right and uh and after that you know you 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 pay for the assurance that within the first year if your tire is damaged you you don't have to worry about the cost of changing a new tire all right so uh the, but the important thing is that of course at the tire shop remember there is that barcode on the inside of the tire you need to scan that barcode all right in order to activate that warranty okay guys so that's it for today i'll follow up with a separate video on the mc6 tires at a later date after maybe a few months of usage uh but overall right now the first impressions are quite positive in fact it feels better than i remembered them the first time around using these tires so uh anyways i'll see you guys again take care stay safe and i'll see you soon Wait. oh shit.
When I switch to gold mileage, in my case, I got 46, 47% of savings oh, for that time. Yeah. Gold mileage was the only one that gave me 5,000 extra value to cover, yet still cheaper, a lot less. A lot Turn less. up!